Okay, so right here we have the 1967 also build 98 luxury sedan edition and we're gonna do a walk around and just kind of show you this beautiful car so uh, looking at the front end all the chromes in really nice shape you do have a crack right over here not a huge deal but um, I want to point that out the uh, if we continue walking around the tires that we put on it are maybe like two months old, so you won't have to buy tires for quite a while. The paint, um, we have only washed this since getting it out. Of, it was in storage since 1977. We haven't thrown a wax job on this at all. So the next owner, if they want to do that, they could probably make it uh, shine and pop more than it does. The paint is in overall good condition, but you do see that there's some scratches right there that we want to point out. While we're here, the dash, I'd say again, is in overall good condition, but you do have, you know, a little bit of uh, sun damage there. What I absolutely love about this vehicle is that at this age, to have that top still in this condition is absolutely amazing. Uh, I want to cut that once you're done doing that. I just want to show that door jams are nice and solid on this vehicle. You know, you're not going to find rust. It's really... Uh, I, it's a rust-free car. I'll show you this other door jam here. So uh, continuing, you still got the fender skirts, which really set off the look of this uh, big, beautiful car. The rear bumper drop down and look how it wraps underneath the car looks like the lady that drove it for the 10 years it was driven she bumped into a couple things Again, I don't feel like it's real bad for the uh, year of the vehicle then I want to point out last time that it was on the road 1977 which is awesome and uh, then we've got right here probably from somebody sticking a key in the keyhole Overall, good shape. I mean, it's a, it's an awesome find. I'm gonna show you how it starts. Oh yeah, thank you. That's uh, so after sitting all night. First time you start it during the day, you do have to pump it a few times to get it going. But for the rest of the day, this is how it starts. My foot's not even on the on the gas. So after your initial, you know, trouble starting it first thing in the morning with some pumps, uh, that's what you can expect for the rest of the day. Stereo, let's see if we got a station here. Uh, I don't have it on a station. There we got somebody talking, but I'm gonna turn that off. But it does work. Uh, so I wanna go ahead yeah, show you the dash there. So the steering wheel, got a little bit of cracking there on the steering wheel. The headliner, if you're able to see that, it's in really nice condition. The visors are also in great shape. And this is all because it hasn't been sitting out in the sun or the rain all these years. Let's see what we got here. There's your glove box. I need to get the juicy fruit out of there. That's uh. Now I'm going to shut the door and I'm going to show you what we've got. So your wind wings on both sides, they function as they should. So give you some ventilation. Your power windows, look at that. For all those years, it should not work that good. And then on the back, you've got the passenger rear works as it should. The driver's rear does not that's the only one that does not work so I want to point that out just to be fair okay so I'm gonna go so over the last few months um, while getting it ready for the road we've addressed issues with the brakes uh, obviously done an alternator uh, we've done a 
laundry list of uh, repairs. The AC, we've got a compressor here, but it's not currently working. We haven't even tried to address that. Um, oh, I'm gonna back this thing up so James can show you that when I move it, it's not dripping any oil. So. Did uh, water pump, belts, hoses. We cleaned out the radiator, alternator, new carburetor, uh, spark plug wires, spark plugs and wires. Um, we went through the brake system, did new uh, wheel seal cylinders on each wheel. We had to add a new line. We added a new um, master cylinder pump, a reservoir. Add a new T-block down there to go to each wheel. That's all I can really remember for what we have done um, under the motor-wise and everything. Here's the trunk. It's a little dirty. Doesn't have the carpets. Does have the spare. The jack is in here, the original jack that picks up from the rear bumper. Cracks on the seals. 